Hi everybody, welcome to La La Land. I'm Lala, and today I'm making beef tongue, also known as lengua de res. And uh, you gotta wash it. It's a cow tongue, y'all. Wash it. All right, I'm putting it in a big pan of boiling water, making sure that it is totally covered. And I'm cooking this for three hours. No salt, no oil, no seasoning, just the cow tongue and water. It's gonna be kind of firm, but don't worry. It's gonna be cooked because we're gonna cook it a second time. All right, so, um, yeah, it looks like a nightmare, right? Like something out of a scary movie? No, it's a cow tongue. <laughs> Maybe that's even worse. All right, so it has like a really, really thick skin that you need to peel off. And um, I'm going to show you how thick it is. It's kind of like um, the insole of a shoe. It even feels that way. You hear that? Yeah. It's not edible. My dog will eat it, but it's not edible for us. And I'm also trimming um, the fat, fat, fatty parts of it, which is like at the end of it, where it it connects to the, I guess, to the the bottom of the mouth. Oh no! All right, so you're going to just slice it up and then dice it up, basically. If you've eaten barbacoa which is cow cheek, then it kind of tastes similar to that. And if you haven't tried babacoa or uh, cow tongue, then you're missing out. It's kind of off-putting because you're like, cow cheek, ew, tongue, ew, nah. It's really, really good, I promise you. All right, get yourself a hot skillet. And no oil is needed for this. You just toss in the meat. And hear that sizzle, my favorite noise in the whole world, besides a baby laughing, is <laughs> meat sizzling. All right, get two cloves of garlic. Toss that in, mince it up, toss that in. Um, I got this recipe from La Capital. It's a fellow YouTuber. I will link his um, link, I will link him down below in the description. And of all things, ground turmeric. He, he, he said this, and I'm like, that's not Mexican, but it tastes fucking fabulous, y'all. Turmeric, yeah. Salt and pepper, garlic, and turmeric. That is it. We're eating this with some pico, and I also made some um, onions that I tossed in some uh, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, and a little bit of oregano. And then you serve it with some corn tortillas. It's so good, y'all. Try it before you deny it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you try this recipe. If you do, leave me a comment and let me know how you liked it. Thank you all for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and for some more badass recipes and craziness. Oh, my baby loved this recipe. He really loves some tacos. We don't eat this all the time, by the way. Just to let you know, this is a special occasion. All right, thanks for watching. Love y'all. Bye.